Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Today I have a collaboration video with Makeup by Geo and our inspiration has come from the new song by Shakira and Rihanna, Can't Remember to Forget You. The video clip is quite steamy and hot, however the makeup is very classic, very simple and very wearable. I would wear this look all the time, no problem. This is the Shakira look that I've done today and Gia has done the Rihanna look with the gorgeous red lips. So if you want to learn how I achieve this look, please stick around but don't forget also click this link wherever I put it <laughs> um, to Gia's channel and check out her video as well. Like both of our videos, thumbs them up and also subscribe to our channels. Thank you again for watching and I hope you enjoy. Okay, so I've already applied my Inglot Under Base Primer and now I'm applying my Inglot YSM Cream Matte Foundation in shade 51 and I'm applying that with my Damp Beauty Blender. I'm buffing that all over my face and making sure it's a nice full coverage. Next I'm taking my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion to prepare the eyes for eyeshadow. I'm taking that and I'm applying that with my fingers. For cream contouring today I'm using these two products here. I'm first taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in shade NW20 and I'm using my Real Techniques Contour Brush to apply this underneath the eye area, on my chin, Cupid's bow above the lip, center of my forehead, and the bridge of my nose. And for my cream contour, I'm using the Maybelline Concealer in shade Cafe and I'm applying that to the hollows of my cheeks, around the temples where my forehead is, also along the jawline, a tiny bit under the chin, a little bit underneath the bottom lip to create a fuller bottom lip and of course down the sides of my nose as well. Now to blend all of this craziness happening, I'm using my Damp Beauty Blender once again and I'm just stippling all of the contour areas first. Next, take your Beauty Blender and turn it over to the clean side and start blending the highlighted areas of your face. Now it's always a good idea to set any cream products so it lasts you all day. So today I'm using my MAC Prep and Prime Transparent Finishing Powder underneath my eyes and basically wherever I have the highlight. And then I'll be using my Inglot AMC Pressed Powder in shade 51 to set all of the contoured areas of my face. Now to further enhance the contoured and highlight parts of my face, I'm using these powders here. First I'll be taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in shade Medium Deep and to apply that I'm using my NARS Contour Brush. I think this brush has been discontinued but don't count on that. Uh, I actually bought this one on eBay and it's fantastic although you do need to make sure you use it very very lightly with not very much product on it otherwise you'll get these great big dark lines which of course we don't want so just gently buff the product into those contoured areas of the face. Now
Now to give the face a bit more colour, I'm using my MAC Sheer Tone Blush in Pinch Me and to apply that I'm using my Inglot 15 BJF brush. And finally for a golden highlight, I'm using my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Highlight in Gold Deposit and I'm using my Inglot Double Ended Brush to apply this in the highlighted areas of my face. So for the eyes today I'm using my Urban Decay Naked Palette and I'll first be taking the colour Virgin and I'll be placing that into the tear duct of the eyes to open the eyes up. The brush I'm using is an Inglot 9S. I'm now taking the colour Half Baked which is more of a golden copper tone and I'm applying that directly onto the colour Virgin in the tear duct area just to soften that a little bit. Taking the colour Naked and I'm going to be applying this again with the 9S brush all over the lid. Now taking the colour Buck, I'm using this colour as a transition colour in the crease area and I'm using my Inglot 6SS Fluffy Blending Brush to apply it. Taking the colour Virgin again and I'm using this as a highlight directly under the arch where my brow bone is and I'm using the Sigma E55 brush. Going back in and taking the colour Buck again and we're going to deepen the corners of the eyes and I'm using my Inglot 10S brush to apply this. And don't forget, you always need to keep blending your eyeshadows, so blend, blend, blend. Now taking my Models Prefer Brow Pencil in this chocolate brown and I'm actually going to be using this as an eyeliner. It's really soft so it's really easy to smudge which is exactly what I want to do. I'll be taking one of my flat Inglot brushes to smudge the product so it looks nice and natural. Now taking my MAC Mascara, the Extreme Dimension Lash Mascara and applying that to the top lashes and of course the bottom lashes as well. If you're happy with the look as it is, you don't have to add lashes but of course I'd like to. So today I'm using my Red Cherry Lashes, I think these are sort of like the Ardell Demi Wispies, these ones. And I'm just applying those for something really subtle but still really pretty. And finally for the lips, I'm mixing two products together. First I'll be taking my Kiko Pencil Lip Gloss in shade number 10 and applying that. Then I'll be taking my Kiko Lip Pencil in shade number 310 just to deepen the colour a little bit.
Okay, so that's the end of the video. Thank you again for watching. All of the product details are down below in the description bar. Also my Instagram and Facebook and all of that is down below as well if you'd like to follow. Don't forget, click the link here and subscribe to Gia's channel as well. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. really helps me out. Thank you all again for your support and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Say bye. Bye.